One of the most anxious and stressful times that any cat owner can ever experience is when your beloved cat leaves home and just doesn't come back. Left to wait and hope, your mind can take you through about a hundred different scenarios. Living in the mystery of it all can be the most difficult part. And when those days turn into weeks, and perhaps weeks into months, the anxiety grows and the hope can vanish. How far is too far? Is it possible for your cat to find its way home regardless of distance? That's today's topic. Stay tuned. Right out of the gate, let me bless you with some hope. In the most literal sense, no distance is conceivably too far. While the odds will obviously decrease with distance, if your cat is alive and healthy, it's possible they could find their way back to you. It's certainly not out of the question. Cats are instinctual animals, and they do possess what is known as the homing instinct. This gives them the sense of positive direction, thereby making the journey back to your door a bit more hopeful, let's say. Now, just because a chance always exists, I certainly don't want to paint a picture of false hope. What is conceivable is certainly not likely or even probable. Logically, if your cat is more than 15 miles away from home, unless your pet is guided home thanks to the kind actions of a stranger and the ability of a shelter to scan your cat's microchip, the odds of your pet making the journey back to your door by themselves over 15 miles away, they are quite slim. And if you're talking hundreds of miles, never give up hope. But that's going to be quite a difficult task. And unfortunately, if you've just moved into a new home, and even the immediate area is not familiar to your pet, the odds are just not in your favor. Keep hope, but the odds are slim. Actually, with respect to a new home, there's probably a greater chance that your cat will attempt to go to their old home, your old home, rather than seek their new home. That aspect alone only adds to the challenge. It must be stated that so much of the distance in terms of approximation, well, it does have a lot to do with where you live, what's around you, the population of your city, the hustle and bustle of your area. Five miles from home in the middle of nowhere, or the, the countryside, let's say, isn't quite the same as five miles away in the heart of Los Angeles. More people, more traffic, more bright lights, and fast living. Well, all of that can equal more problems. It's naturally easier for cats to make the journey home, even from a considerable distance if the interference is limited. And I don't mean just from animals, but also from people, especially those with bad intentions. If your cat has an opportunity to begin the journey home without being taken off course in a negative way, then the odds of a safe return do increase. Now, I mentioned a microchip just a bit earlier. That could be the lucky winner. When it comes to the very best type of interference, Conceivably, your cat could be hundreds of miles away, but if taken to a shelter, they could be home within a matter of days. All it takes is one loving person to take your pet to the vet, a shelter, what have you, and then all of this negative fortune could change in an instant. One scan of the chip and suddenly your cat has a name, and more importantly, a home address, regardless of the current location. Some cats vanish for years, 50 miles away, only to come home safe and sound. I'd like to close by spending a couple of minutes on the heart of the matter. In the most literal sense, the family cat doesn't really just run away from home. That's a rare thing to have happen. Most of the time, if you willingly let your cat outside for a play session and a roam around your neighborhood, your cat will come back within a matter of hours if they're physically able. Typically, the only reasons why a cat in that example wouldn't come back would be if they entered the home of a neighbor in some fashion or they were physically injured. When it comes to the topic of distance, most of the time some rather unfavorable factors have to be involved because in most cases a missing cat is not miles away. If your cat has been gone for several days, ask around the area, ask neighbors, develop a search party of friends and family, check local shelters just in case your cat was picked up by vehicle and transported out of the area. If the family cat is, say, 20 miles away, there's a good chance they had a little help. Whether it be due to positive or negative intentions, they probably had some help. This is why it becomes so very important to be aware of your surroundings and make sure 
that your cat is familiar with the area before you entertain the idea of what seems like a harmless backyard play and roaming adventure. The more your cat knows the neighborhood, the less likely they'll be to willingly leave home on a very long journey. To everyone out there who is currently dealing with this situation in real time, just know that you are in my thoughts. I wish you the very best. Stay positive and stay proactive. Here's wishing your cat a safe journey home. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and kindly subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.